give you the chance oh, yeah. to come up with a swear word that my dad can use every day. Well, my favourite one at the moment is <laughs> 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 What about like a instead of a So I'm a fan of like <laughs> about his <laughs> right? And you're both of them. Has it been a long slog this one? I can think of a million places I'd rather be. It that one. I'll take that, thank you. <laughs> oh, that is lovely. It's a broken down material. And I think this is Primark. So, Primark. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, you're definitely warmer than I am, sir, in the cold of London. If you want to swap, I'll do it for you. <laughs> if you want me to talk about you, you go boss. I love it. I'll take one for the team. The movie Dweeb. Boom. Straight in the sizzle reel. That's all I needed. See you later. All right, Captain. Um, well, Shoot. Welcome. Thank you. How's uh, the promo been so far? It's really good. Yeah? You know, it was a really happy show, The Gentleman, and that, and that does feed into the promo, how everyone gets on. And, yeah. And, you know, I, I think also just a, a general, you know, good feeling about it. always comes from the top. It really does. And so, you know, obviously, Guy Ritchie and our producers, I mean, we were really well looked after, weren't we? Yeah. Who have you spoken to already? The whole cast. Oh, nice. Save the best till last, all right? <laughs> hey, I'd have said that to whoever I spoke to last, just to let you know. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for chatting to me. Sure, right. I, I'm so excited for this because The Gentleman, the film, is like mine and my dad's favourite film. Oh, so yeah. now chatting to people on The Gentleman family what? is exciting, but my dad loves it so much because it introduced a word to him that he uses in every day. Now, it begins with C, ends in unty. And my dad uses it for everything. Is he? <laughs> like if, instead of like happy birthday, he'll say have an auntie birthday. Like he just uses it every day now. So I want to give you two the chance oh, yeah. to come up with a swear word that my dad can use every day. See if we can infiltrate his lexicon. I'll let you go first, huh? Go on, I'll throw you under the bus. <laughs> what about like a pickle instead of a prick? Like such a pickle. Nice. I like yeah. that. Does he, he call you cunty? Oh. He'll call me that every day that's of the week. I, nice. I got a good luck cunty today, yeah. Aww. But a good luck okay, pickle's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know about <laughs> I mean, it's just not in my way. How about it? It's too cunty. <laughs> right? And you're both of them. Or say fodder. Fodder. Uh, 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 fodder. Uh, yeah, fodder. Fodder. Nice. Yeah. Fodder, good. Yeah, no, yeah. I'll take that. You fodder. <laughs> okay. I like that, actually. Yeah, it's quite nice. That's good. No, no, now yeah. I've got something to call him back. Thank you. Yeah. It's a precious a Fodder pickle. <laughs> Cute. Fuck knob. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting about that word, though, because, you know, we, we'd have to have a quota of it, because you, if you use it too much, and Guy was very big on this, then it becomes, uh, you, you kind of devalue it in a way. But it had to, Guy likes to use it within the poetry of a line, which is quite funny. But when you, kind of when you see it after you've been on set, you're like, oh, I kind of know what you mean. I'll think of you every time my dad calls me fuck knob now. <laughs> Just one soul tear down What did Dan place. say? You know what, I like to go the other way with it. So I'm a fan of like cripes and crumbs, Ooh. which I'm not making up there. Okay, but I, do you know, okay, do you know okay, what I mean? Okay. I like, yep, yep. I like sort of like. Yeah, I got biscuit crumbs. I like uh, when crumbs. things go wrong. I, Crumb, say, oh. I do crumbalinos. Okay. And or I like cripe, cripeserinos. Can you give it to me like a really angry, aggressive? Here's what I would, I'd like the opposite. Okay, so it's like really, really bad news. Mm. I'm talking like real bad. And this Hit warrants. Me. This situation warrants. No like a mo two. Uh, like a response of real gravitas. And yeah. Cripes arenas. He's like the divorce papers. Oh. Crumbolinos. Crumbolinos, <laughs> man. Nah. You've got Crumbolinos. two days left it's to like live. Cr yeah. Oh, crumbs. Yeah. crumbs. <laughs> no one likes crumbs. crumbs. Crumbolino. But then that's because, you know, it's the gentleman. It has like posh guys. Hey, and yeah. Jesus. I like so it. There's a, you know what I mean? you got Clever. like a moment. What a writer. Yeah. What a writer. Crumbs. Oh, far less interesting. Yeah. <laughs> a boring man. <laughs> Vinny. I don't know. Not in front of ladies. <laughs> no. I have to watch my P's and Q's around there. Like. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure to come up. Well, I think you'll have a think and you'll come up with a good one, right? Well, my favourite one at the moment is Belend. <laughs> don't need to give my dad more excuses to call me that. We don't need to persuade him to call you that. And see how that <laughs> I think that was going to be one, one of two choices for me as a baby name. It was Daniel or Belend. It was going to be one of the two. No, you can't top that. No. That's powerful. I mean, you can top it, but it goes a little bit too dark. 
Tom, stick with that. That's a blinder. I don't need to give him any more reason to call me that. No, I'm, I'm, no. I'm not showing him that clip of you no. giving him the go No, 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 no. <laughs> like, we've spoken about my dad, but we've got to speak about your on-screen dad, mm -hmm. Ray Winston. I mean, my dad, he like, he'll walk into a room and see two lights on and be like, it's like Piccadilly Circus in here. Like, he loves a dad <laughs> joke. He, he only replies with like thumbs up emojis. Oh, Does... I love your dad. <laughs> oh, he's adorable and cunty. Um, but. Ray, does he have any of those classic dad traits? He's very cuddly. Like he gives the best cuddles and absolute yeah. like bear hug. I'm gonna try I, one. You I know love that. that. <laughs> I've been really lucky that I've had some very cool men play my dad over the years. Yeah, yeah. And not to get too deep, but I never had a real dad, so it's like I really enjoy building that relationship with actors. Um, and yeah, Ray is the kind of easiest thing to fold into, and in he's just very cuddly. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big teddy bear. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Enough, enough. You know, I'm well enough really, now. Really bad for the image, yeah. <laughs> no, sorry. Yeah. It's really hard. He's well, scary. Yeah. Scary man. Right, let's bring it. Bring it back to yeah, business, all right? Reality, reality. But I mean, I said you have worked with him on this. You worked with Theo, Giancarlo, Vinny, mm. and then you've also worked with Aubrey, Jason Statham, yeah. and Hugh Grant. Let's do another Guy Ritchie Max collab. Who would be? your dream actors to work with in that film? Well, I will say, I mean, Ray and I, uh, Winston, Ray's a very good friend of mine. Ray and I have done a couple of pictures together before and we, 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 we're, we're due some time together on screen because I worked with him 25 years ago and I was a young actor and, you know, still learning the, the, the profession. And we both spoke about it last night, actually. So we were like, it'd be nice to do some more dancing on screen together, you know. Um, and, and of course, um, Giancarlo, uh, who is one of probably the loveliest people I've ever met, um, is also one of the most talented actors I think I've ever met. Um, and I'd like to have more work with Giancarlo down the line. I think, um, I think that'd just be wonderful. He's just such a beautiful, crafty actor, but more importantly, he's a lovely man, you know. Um, so yeah, that that that'd be it really. But yeah, Raymond and I we, we, we were talking about it last night. It's it's about time we've we've learned our craft a bit. I mean, Ray certainly has. He's he's done. He's been at it for forty years or yeah. you know forty five years. Well, it's funny. I just interviewed him and I was like, oh, this is going to be a toughie. And then he came in and gave me a little cuddle. I was like, you're yeah. even a good cuddler. Oh, you no. shouldn't be a good cuddler. No, he's the governor. As you said, you've worked with him mm. before. Mm. You must know know him well. What's Very he well. not good at? What's his biggest flaw? Raymond, um, oh, Christ, sewing. He's not a great sewer. <laughs> he's not a great sewer. <laughs> but everything else, he's he's raised one of the loveliest guys you'll ever meet as well. What have you asked him to sew in the past? Uh, I needed him to darn a pair of my socks actually after a football game many years ago. All right, good. I'm go so I've got one up on him. Knit one, pearl one. Obviously, every Guy Ritchie project has an unbelievable cast. I mean, you work with Ray, Vinny, Kyra in this. But I want to talk to you about Possibly one of the greatest actors of all time, Giancarlo Esposito. What was it like meeting him for the very first time? Uh, yeah, I was a huge fan from all his work. I mean, pre-Breaking Bad, but um, you know, he's a great actor. He has an ability to do absolutely nothing with his face, but then convey so much, which is fascinating to me. He he, he loves his suits as well. I think he looks in incredibly dashing in his suits. He's a Quite a classy man, but but you know he's a family guy. He's, he's a lovely he's a lovely guy, and he's very meticulous in how he comes to a part. So I was it was really satisfying to work with him. I love him, but also I hate him because of how you've just described him. I'm like I'll never hit that level. <laughs> I'll never be as cool as him. <laughs> well, Vinny, obviously you've you've worked with Guy before on Lockstock. You worked with him on Snatch, and now this. What makes him the perfect director to want to keep working with and keep going back to? Um, I think the cheekiness of it all you know it's like it's it is good fun and it's you know he's a very intelligent bloke and he likes he's fascinated i think with you know the the toffs and stuff like that you know what i mean so you know and he does make it you know when he's around he, he does make it fun and he's and he goes to individuals and then you know has a bit of a wind up and you know he's for me, it's kind of, you know, like he's the head coach, you know what I mean? He's like the manager for me. Um, and there's, uh, you know, you don't have all these secrets and everything else. He's like, this is what we're doing. This is where we're going. Let's get on with it. Yeah. We're all in. Uh, he's quite a unique man. He's quite a unique man. Uh, he's on the fly. Things work on the fly. Uh, and when you get on one of his sets, um, you're in the deep end immediately. Um, because he's he's a bit of a savant and he'll see things and go 
ooh, that's not working, do that, or throw that in there, or Maxi, add that line there. Okay, guy, but it is two pages, and you'll be all right, boom, and you do your best. And um, it's a good question, actually, and I've just I've just realised, because somebody said to me, Why, what is it about Guy that makes him such a good director? And this is what I said yesterday. It wasn't an interview, it was a family friend, actually. Mm. You actually want him to think you've done good work when the scene's finished. That's quite rare. Yeah. You know, and what I mean by that is, and no, this is no disrespect to many other directors, wonderful directors that I've worked with, but you, you do really, you want him to go, hmm, that was nailed, let's move on. You get a bit of a kick out of it, and I think that in turn comes down to the fact that you respect him as a filmmaker, and I certainly do, you know, he's one of, me, he's one of my favourite uh, people to work with. Well, that's why I want this interview to go well, because I want him to watch it and go, hmm, that's what I want from him. Okay. I don't care about the views or anyone nah, else. I just want that. Guy Ritchie yeah. to watch it and go, yeah. thumbs up. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. But in The Gentleman, your brother, Freddie, he, he essentially fucks up. Yes, and yeah. I want to slap him so badly throughout this whole <laughs> series. You're a sibling yourself. You've got lots of brothers and sisters. Yeah. And I want to know, what's, what's the Freddie thing you've done? What's the thing that you've done to really piss off your brothers and sisters? Uh, probably grassing on them, you know. I, I, I was the youngest of five, so I was constantly grassing on them for like smoking or doing shit, um, <laughs> which I still feel guilty about. Uh, they used to call me like Condobber, I think was the name. <laughs> yeah, but coming from five, I definitely was a little shit. Uh, so I, I uh, you know, I sympathise. But Freddie is uh, kind of the epitome of the colossal fuck up in a way. Mm. Um, but trying to find and a kind of love between us was was a was was part of you know me and Dan's plan as it were. So anyway, uh, Com Dobber. Next question. <laughs> I'm not calling you Theo again ever again. I have seen some very surreal moments from your career. I mean, opening episode of this, you're fueled on cocaine. You're dressed as a chicken. You're singing. Sure. I've seen you walk in on a masturbating Asa Butterfield in uh, Sex Education. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. I'm really. I'm glad I'm bringing these back to, yeah, to you now. Yeah. 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 But are there any more? Surreal moments. What's been the most embarrassing moment from your career? I mean, there's uh, there's, <laughs> there's plenty to choose from there. Um, I don't know. Probably do, doing a naked poo in the woods in Lovesick was, um, was springs to mind. Uh, whilst locking eyes with a deer, um, <laughs> that was that was a pretty good one. I, I, I feel like. Um, you know, producers, writers, and directors seem keen to like shame me. <laughs> there's, 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 there's a general theme emerging. Of, Daniel, yeah, 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 put him through the ringer, make him take his trousers off, but like not in a sexy way. That was actually going to be my next question. Sure. Did you do this with your trousers off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Should I put? Oh, should I put them on? I don't know. But Michael, luckily, you didn't have to don a chicken suit for this. No, that I'm aware of. No, but I was found in the woods naked. By Vinnie Jones. <laughs> yeah. oh, there you go. So they're doing it to you now. Too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, if it makes you more comfortable, I can take all of this off. No, you're Just, right. Uh, you're right. You're right. Good. Good answer. <laughs> yeah. But you did get the honour of working with Guy Ritchie. Talk mm. to me about day one on set. Oh, what was okay. that experience day one, like? I'm very nervous. I've sort of done a bit of research. I know Guy likes to do the spontaneous stuff, so I've sort of got it in my head. Step in, meet the man. Hi and he's in mid-conversation. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm trying to work it out. And then I, it sort of dawns on me, he's rebuilding the whole scene. I thought I was just gonna come in and do a bit of dancing. Then I got the dialogue. He took the dancing out and he's giving me brand new dialogue and he's writing it on the fly. And I'm sitting there, this is my first day. I'm new to this acting stuff. Guy Richie, the big man here, he's whipping out all this new dialogue, handwritten on a piece of paper. And he's like, yeah, here you go. So just learn that and we'll, we'll, we'll start shooting in a minute. I'm there like, what? <laughs> he's like, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, you got this. And I said, okay, so went through it, learned, gave it a shot, couple mistakes. He's like, don't worry about the mistakes. I'm just gonna keep throwing things at you. You just keep saying it, doing all of that, having great fun. At the end, he comes over and he's got the biggest smile on his face. He's like, loved it. I'm there, that just sort of set me off like, okay, the big man likes it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Because he's a director you don't want to piss off as well. Yeah, so it was good that, that you got yes, the seal of approval. Yes. Because you could have been in the chicken soup next if you <laughs> hadn't got it wrong. 
I mean, he really threw you in at the deep end, didn't he? Because day one, you're filming a funeral in the torrential rain. Oh, that that was a great day. Yeah, the, that's right. Because I always think of the first sort of scene when we had dialogue, but that was absolutely the first scene. First yeah. day, it was it literally down, yeah. pouring with rain, but not, you know, that sort of rain where you're either. drenched. And we're all in the mud because... Was it really a, a cemetery or did they fake it as a cemetery? I can't remember. It might be their cemetery, yeah. But we were just right down and then and then magically no, it, was a fake one. it stopped and then all these rainbows came out. So it was actually it was a really great start to the film. I saw you post on Instagram a picture of you, Vinny and Guy. You I did ask you permission. She never stopped. <laughs> That's all she was doing was posting pictures. That's on. a lovely Instagram that right there. Is, uh, that is such rubbish. <laughs> and one photo. <laughs> she but said I've never he's ever me up. done this. this is... Have you? You said she's never ever done that with two actors. Or an actor and a director. Yeah, and I haven't. We were the first. Look at my yeah. account, and I haven't. And I haven't done it since. I didn't know you had a Netflix account. <laughs> Instagram account. Instagram. Well, then, why would I have asked you if I could oh. post a picture of you and Guy? Okay. That's the main reason I'm doing this for the <laughs> Instagram. Get many likes. Did you get many likes, dear? Well, it was the early days of my account, so it's it's there a bit better now. But but yes, maybe I'll repost it when this uh, when this yeah, comes out, idea. Billy, with your permission. Yeah, you got my permission. Well, you got one he, like from he me likes at least. Winding me off. <laughs> yeah, I gave you a like. Don't you worry. <laughs> but I saw you caption it saying that you you learned so much from being on this film. Was there anything that you learned from Vinny in particular? I just swear. <laughs> That's what I also learned as well. Don't get me started on Vinny. <laughs> Don't get me started we on Vinny. I'm going to talk about Guy. I actually adore this man. I think he's fabulous. And we couldn't be more chalk and cheese in the way we work. But what I did learn, and actually from Vinny, but also from Guy. And, you know, my father was a film director. And I never got to work with him. But I have a feeling he'd be a bit like Guy. A bit mischievous, a bit cheeky. Really wanting to get the actors a bit riled up. So you just free fall. So you're out of your comfort zone, you know, and I think, um, you know, Guy presenting us with new dialogue just as we walked on set, but with such warmth and enthusiasm, you know, he wasn't like mean or cold ever. He was totally on your side. He just wanted the best for the project. And, and, and uh, you know, it's just a way of riling people up. It's good. I want us to create the, the ultimate Ray Winston character. Oh, wow. So I want you to pick three of your characters that you've played and three traits from them to create the ultimate one. So for me, for example, right. I'd say Bobby Glass's wealth. I want that. Mm -hmm. I want I want Sexy Beast's wardrobe because I think I'd look cute in the Speedos. Okay, gotcha. And I think I want the spouse of Mr. Beaver because who doesn't want to be married to Dawn French? <laughs> well, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what three characters are you picking? <sighs> God help us. Um, I don't know. Um, Should I get your CV up? I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can think that far back. Um, yeah, I think that the uh, youthfulness and the kind of heart of Carly when he's scum. Because oh. he give you a clump if you get out of line. Um, I think, yeah, Carly, Gal, Gary in Sexy Beast, because he's a lover. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. It's a love that. story, that, that film, you know, and uh, and money-wise, I don't know, I suppose it would be, yeah, I suppose it would be this guy. He's a clever guy, he's an intelligent guy. Yeah. To actually build an empire that he's built, yeah. Yeah, that dude. That, and imagine yeah. how good a cuddler that would be, that combo as well. Mm, yeah, well, would would probably be reefing your pockets at the same <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I did have a watch on when I came in here, where'd I go? <laughs> I, I also love your character in The Gentleman because he's just effortlessly cool. I mean, the watch, the, the glasses, the suit. Please tell me, and I won't tell Guy this, mm. you managed to nick something from the set of The Gentleman. I can't, I can't divulge that, but I will just give you a bit of a smile. But I can't, you know, we did, we did, a, show, we did a show in uh, America years ago. I did a show in America where they, I think they blew $50,000 on my costume. Uh, for the season, like beautiful boss suits, uh, Tom Ford, uh, Bruno, the, the Italian designer. And at the end of it, I was like, right, what can we? And they're like, oh no, Universal own all of it. And I was like, are you joking? 
Um, uh, but yeah, uh, uh, I'll just say there's a couple of bits and pieces that I was fortunate enough to uh, to uh, keep. I didn't steal them. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't steal them. Yeah. Your lawyer was about to come running yeah. in the room there. Yeah, I'm getting that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You're a lead in a Guy Ritchie project now. You've also been in Marvel. What What is the next thing you want to tick off the acting bucket list? Um, oh, good question. Um, man, you know what? I don't know. I kind of, I don't, I try not to think too much in terms of like what I want to do, what I haven't done. Just kind of, um, I'm just winging it, man. <laughs> I'm just winging it. That was a terrible answer, but um, I'm but I'm enjoying it. I'm winging it and I'm enjoying no, no, no. it. So, what, you know. what, what about if we can get a sly plug here, the the Freddie and J Jimmy show? Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 uh, the spin-off, the spin-off of the spin-off. And I get a producer credit, hey! which is great. There yeah. you go. That man. Yeah, that yeah. There you go. All right. <laughs> right here. Man. Plug it in every single interview now. Just <laughs> drop my name in as well. We're yeah. laughing. I want to smack bang another one of your co-stars in the gentleman. Okay. Will Poulter. Right. How do you think he would fare in The Gentleman? Would he be do you know whacked what? off I, I'll tell one? you a secret about Will. He is the most polite human being you've ever met. Mm. He's incredibly kind. And so he would play a gentleman very, very well. He's naturally an absolute gent. I don't think he'd be very good at being a criminal because he's too earnest. He's too nice. He's a bit soft in a yeah. good way. Yeah. But um, yeah, he'd be, he'd be an excellent gentleman. We're saying killed off episode one. No, he's built now. Oh yeah, he's no, it's, I did a zoom he's like with him. Six foot two, and he took massive. up the whole laptop. Yeah, it was no, scary. he'd be fine. He can handle himself. Yeah, yeah. I also have to talk about one of my favourite films of all time, 101 Dalmatians. I mean, in this, Finny, obviously. I, I love the the contrast of <laughs> you and your dad with the swearing in 101 Dalmatians. Well, that's like my mum's favourite film with me. He loves the swearing. They're two very different people. Right, right. And and Finny probably does. It was a film I did for Disney. That's that's the reference. <laughs> Long time ago. I love 101 Dalmatians. In this, obviously, Vinny's character loves his animals, he loves his dogs, he loves mm -hmm. all of the woodland critters. But you worked with someone who notoriously doesn't like their animals. Glenn oh, Close. Oh, okay, yes. As right. Cruella Deville. Yeah. Was she ever terrifying on the yeah, set as Cruella Deville? Quite, she was quite. And Glenn, if you ever see this, she's consummate professional, but she was a bit in character. And you know, I was very young and it was this gigantic movie and, and it was a little bit scary. And, and at times I thought, I, you know what, I know because she had so much costume on, so many wigs, even the gloves, that I, I just think it bleeds through sometimes and you, you have to let people do that. So they're a bit antsy, it worked for the film. Yeah, I'm 30 years old, I'm still a little bit scared. <laughs> I don't even have dogs, I'm scared she's gonna get them. And Ray, finally, much like myself, I know Kaya loves a pub garden. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna give you the opportunity to open up your own gentleman-themed pub, yeah. but you're only allowed three beer pumps. What three beer pumps are we picking? Fucking hell, I'm with the pressure. He's <laughs> hey, Jesus Christ. You rethink your whole life um, now. I, I'd, I'd have a Messina beer. Mm. Good. What's that? From Sicily. It's a nice beer. Mm. It's got salt in it, so it makes you drink more. Oh. They're very clever, the Sicilians, oh, yeah. yeah. You're thinking of money one, as yeah, well. I love one of those. And I like the Spanish beer I like as well. What's that one of the Spanish beer they have? Anyway, it's, it's a Spanish one, because it's a light lager. Mm. Yeah. And I'm not really a beer drinker, to be honest with you, but and I like an English owl. Mm. Yeah. You can't beat that on the pump, bump. I mean, I've, I've got to interview Theo next, but I kind of want to go to the pub instead. Should, we just, should I just sack him off and us three? 100%. Get a little beer, have a few cuddles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just three cunty Only cuddles. Only if your dad comes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weirdly, a lot of people prefer him to me. It's really sad. <laughs> No, dude, thank you so much for chatting me. Thanks, thank you man. so thank much, you. mate. Lovely to chat to you. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you, mate. Loved it. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, my brother. It. Thank you, my brother. Sweet. But yeah, thank Thanks, you man. So Pleasure. Much. Oh, cheers. Pleasure. Cheers. cheers. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, and you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. I've never felt so pressurised in my life.